Hi Aquarius, my sun sign brothers and sisters, welcome to your week ahead taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. So uh, these readings are for your sun, moon and ascendant sign, but there's no astrology in these. So I would watch all three of them so you can get a clearer picture of which part of you I resonate with most. Uh, you are my sun sign brothers and sisters, so it might very well be there, but let's see. Anyway, with that said, uh, remember their general readings not everything's going to resonate with everybody that is just fine you should always use your own discernment before we start as always I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love light peace prosperity and abundance and I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and they help you on your path to your highest vibrational good so for your actions, uh, sorry, for your key to the week. So if you are a continue subby, you know Rafi loves you. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. So you have the strength card for your um, key to the week. So the first thing that I wanna say to you, your physical health and vitality must take precedence this week. This is a week to really look after yourself on that physical health and vitality level, uh, to also pay attention to what your own bodily needs are at this moment in time. The other thing with this as well, in all these different areas of your life that we're about to explore, you are being encouraged to find the courage to go after the thing, to travel the path that is, is least likely, right? To go in the direction that no one or maybe even you would never imagine yourself to go. There's something here where you've got to find your bravery this week. For your actions and options, you have the Knight of Swords, uh, the Knight of Swords, the Ace of Swords. This is a fresh start, but it's also potentially a look at a contract of some sort. Uh, and this might be that you're having to really either crunch some numbers, it might be that you're having to read the fine print of something here as well, which is very, very possible. The other thing with the Ace of Swords, because it shows up with this strength card, I wouldn't be surprised if some of you are going for something like acupuncture, um, or, you know, something that's gonna really support your physical health and vitality and quite possibly your back. Um, when it comes to your options, the options that are available to you, fresh starts, new contracts, new business, new work, new ideas are making themselves known to you. But this is kind of like fresh start stuff. So it's only the beginning. There's nothing here that we would consider concrete just yet. I also think that this for, for a lot of you, you'll be making a very solid decision that you won't back down from this week. For your communications and conversations, you have the Empress, right? So communication is gonna be harmonious and easy this week with the Empress here as well. It's very much, especially with this Ace of Swords, communication is very much geared towards getting the most out of what you have this week, but also about making things as easy and as smooth for yourself as you possibly can. A lot of the conversations that you're having as well might be around health, vitality, potentially even nutrition for some of you. Um, when it comes to your, for those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, I love this because it's like a new subject, something that is brand new to you, maybe even something that you never thought that you would find yourself studying, starts to really embed itself in what you're doing on a day-to-day -day level. It may be that some of you start to study things like nutrition, etc. Um, but And you do really well with this. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, the Empress suggests that a prominent woman or a woman in a position of power may come through for you, might really do something to help you or to support you in some way, shape or form. With the strength card in this mix though, there's an element of you really needing to prove yourself. And it will be the same for those of you that have your own business. It's like whatever you're doing, the results are pretty much guaranteed. You've also got a lot of support coming in here, especially of a contractual nature, but it's like in order to get that support, you have to really prove that you are gonna show up, that you're gonna go to bat. Um, but it's easy, right? Things flow, it's easy, it's harmonious. You just gotta really apply that mental energy of yours. And then when it comes to those of you that are retired, I think a lot of you are gonna be looking at doing the paperwork around how do I enjoy the rest of my retirement? How do I really start to take time for myself or how do I really start to enjoy whatever time I have left? 
So for uh, then you uh, for your love and relations, you've got the Devil card. So this with the Ace of Swords, I'm going to be really honest with you. If you are single, there's a potential for you to meet someone this week. And i got to say to you, I won't go as far as to say this person is bad news. I will say they probably bring out the worst in you. This may be somebody who's got a lot of bad habits that tend to rub off. Maybe they're very charismatic and they kind of, I would just be very mindful of what eggs you put your basket in if you catch my drift. Um, especially because it looks like, you know, everybody's attracted to a bad boy. Everybody's attracted to someone that's got some mystery and allure. But that's, you know, that's kind of where it stops. When someone's just going to drag you down because they're on a spiral, you don't want to be anywhere near that person. Uh, when it comes to those of you that are married, partnered, or in long-term commitments, that devil card with the empress, there's a chance here that you overindulge. There's a chance here that maybe you and your partner are sort of too much in your bubble. And then someone comes along and says, hey, listen, there's other stuff going on that you're missing. And it might very well be that you're, focus you're so focused on something else within the relationship or the relationship itself, you kind of not drop the ball, but you kind of sort of don't really notice that there's something else going on that's going to need your attention when it comes to your family. So keep an eye out for that. And then when it comes to your money and materials, you've got the Eight of Pentacles, which is a work card. You've got the Strength card, which is number eight. Two eights is new knowledge, new information, new knowledge, new wisdom that's coming in could potentially be quite lucrative for you. Be open to this, right? Be open to forging new connections through the knowledge or the information that you're gaining because that eight of pentacles i mean if you work in an hourly sort of rate situation there's overtime here with the strength card in tow though it does suggest that you're having to really go above because two eights is new knowledge so you're having to go above and beyond what you know and also you might have to have the courage to do something that you've never done before. Uh, for some of you, that might even be like, if you're a business owner, maybe this is that you go back to work, you know, for somebody else, which is, is not easy, all right? I can assure you it's not easy. If you've been uh, self-employed for any number of, you know, years, it's really hard to make that st sort of transition backward. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, this is your digestive system and it's so it's going to be like your and it might be as well if you're having digestive issues this week it might be that those digestive issues are coming from a structural problem as opposed to an internal one i'm not a doctor i can't give you medical advice um but that might be something to look into and then when it comes to your home and environment for a lot of you this is you working really hard uh, in order to secure or settle a home situation for yourself in some way, shape or form. Either which way, this is going to be quite a, an interesting week. I think it's going to be a decent week. There might actually even be a lot of advancement, but it comes at a cost of really hard work. All right. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. If you want to get a personal reading with me, hit the link in the description box below. Uh, with that said, I wish you all of the good stuff. Take care and I'll see you soon.